So I couldn't sleep. Here we are trading London. Um, so came here, closed above Monday's afternoon highs, retracement into this fair value gap and this high mitigation block to the one minute shift of structure right here fair valley gap another fair valley gap here should be the second accumulation before we go higher here so here we are i don't really want to see like a break of a low Basically, if I close below this, I will get out. But right here, like this, 1.8R. Also, some reasoning is that ES here has um, not really a fair value gap with highs, equal highs. So I think we can go for that for an ES here. Right, you equal highs into this hourly for a value gap. So you have some liquidity here. So far, so good. Right? Where'd it go? This is your second distribution. I mean, second accumulation. This is the first one. We're chilling. Another thing, I didn't think it was a reversal because there was no SMT between ES and NQ. Anyway, it should be like a fast run back to the upside because I don't really see many roadblocks in the way. So, expect it to go swiftly. Okay, as we're breaking above this now, I'll move my stop up. This should be now distributing higher, especially as we're closing above this. Let's see if it closes. At the least, I'm going to move my stop up, like, here. Now, dynamically, it's a 2.4R. Looks pretty good. In the five minute. We're about to invert this as well. There's not really a reason for us to reject here because we didn't really hit any higher time frame PD array here. There was no SMT divergence to for ideas for shorting. So, you know, everything on the higher time frame is bullish. Now we're distributing, right? We had our accumulation, manipulation, we should distribute. Up about 10 points. Pretty good for London. Now we're closing above all these imbalances, so we should swiftly move up higher. I want us to close above this little imbalance in the next minute. 
Or else I might have to start to look for partials. Okay, it looks good. Well, we'll see. 20 seconds. Because, like, then it might deeply retrace again. Okay, that's good. Good to hold. So we now just create a fair value gap here. So we should follow, should continue to move higher. I kind of like how the three minute here looks. It's pretty lit. Looks pretty good here. Like you can see how strong it is. I'm not going to be worried if it retraces. If it retraces like here. So far it looks quite good. You know, looks strong. Mm. Let's go. Chop chop. Yes, looks good too. I want it to go for this high and this imbalance. Looks really good now to continue going higher. Yep. Like we marked out before. Really nice. All right, now I'm gonna just move my stop and profit. Looks really good here. Yes is really reaching towards these highs here. Um, it's good to take partials. So I will. So I'm going to take some partials off here. Okay, yes, hit my target actually. Right there, I hit my target. So, I'm watching very, very, very. Um, so as now we have SMTs here, I'm watching this like a hawk, essentially. Um, I'm going to take more partial. Okay, I only have five left. Oh, 0350. Oh, 0325. Okay. Mm -mm. Hmm. I'm likely just going to take the rest off very soon. If this candle doesn't close above this, then I'll just take the rest off. Otherwise, I'll hold. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. You have 17 seconds left in this candle. And you know, as we saw, like, ES has taken out that high. So, yep. I'm just gonna close out here. Close out the rest, and that's it. That's all for tonight. <laughs>